there's been a lot of questions about the reference tool and why we use it. So I'll try to explain that. My line layer here I have on one single layer, but I want to color it on a different layer. So if I add a layer on top of that and I just fill it in, and I just wanted to fill in that top rectangle, it didn't work, it filled the whole thing in, we need to put that line layer to a reference layer. And you do that by tapping on it and clicking reference. Then you can go to that other layer, and then you can drag and fill anywhere you'd like there, and it'll only do the part you're looking at because it's referencing to that line layer. You can pick a different color and add a layer, and every layer after that is going to reference to that first layer. So the other thing you can do is you have this on one layer, and you're going to go to that Google tool, and you're going to click on automatic and have the color fill on. And then you can just click on any square or any shape there you're trying to fill in. But to change the colors on that way, that way, you have to unclick the squiggle tool, change your color, click the squiggle again, and then tap the square that you want to uh, fill in. It's kind of annoying. So if we put this, rep this layer to reference, add a layer, go to that squiggle tool, make sure the color fill is off, and then you can tap on the part you want to work on. And what you do then is go find a brush, say I just want to color it instead of color fill. While that squiggle tool is still activated, you can go and color in just the specific part that you highlighted. And now I'm going to go back to my squiggle tool and I'm going to tap on the next shape and I'm going to find a different brush and just color in that and it will only color in that part you highlighted. I hope that helps.